Hi folks, Jason here. In this video, I'm just going to be looking at how to create clothing using the quad draw tool. So you may have seen in my previous video uh, that I created some clothing just using the actual figure and then basically detached and then created clothing and also went through to end cloth, as you can see here, uh, to create it. But this character, what I've done is I've created the clothing using quad draw. If you haven't never used the quad draw tool before, if you go through to the modeling toolkit, and you'll see here quad draw. And essentially, what you can do is you can um, essentially the way it does what it says on the tin. You can basically just create quads, which you can then uh, subdivide and turn into anything you want, whether that's clothing. Uh, it could be a whole host of uh, different other things that you could use, but um, in this instance, it's primarily used for things like clothing. Also, you can use it for, say, for example, you've sculpted something in ZBrush. And perhaps, and this is probably more for like sort of animation, I guess, you could create um, some clean topology for that and then bake it onto, um, onto the low poly version. But uh, in this instance, we're just going to stick with clothing. So in the next video, folks, we're going to get into it. And hopefully, you'll find it useful. And um, yeah, without further ado, I shall see you in the next video. Okay, thanks a lot, folks. Bye for now. Okay, folks, so welcome back. So we're going to start off by uh, creating a, another character. So like before, I'm going to go through to Generate and Get Brush. And then in this uh, window here, we want to go to the modeling, people, and then it's the sculpting base meshes and specifically bipeds. So we'll probably go for, uh, which character should we go for this time? So let's go for female character uh, here. So we'll go on there and just double click. And hopefully that's loaded up, that's fine. Okay, so let's go and have a look. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically create uh, a jacket, create some trousers, and create uh, some belts and things like that. And, uh, and that'll, be, uh, that'll be it. So without further ado, I'm going to go, first of all, I'm going to just go and change the material on this, just something a bit more neutral. Okay, that's all good. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to begin the process of um, going through to the Make Live. Now, you can either click on this symbol here or you can right click and go to there, Make Live. Either way is fine. And then what we're going to do is going to go through to the Modeling Toolkit and also make sure that Symmetry and Object X is turned on. And what we're going to do is we are going to select quad draw. All right, so let's start. So you'll see here by rights that should be as long as all that's selected. I'm going to start basically just putting in some squares. So I'm using the left button mouse. Hold down shift and then click with the left button mouse. Now, if you want to adjust any of this, by the way, at any time, all you need to do is left button mouse and you can just drag this around like so. And also, once you get into it, so I'll just do a few more here. Let's say, let's do another one, um, say here. If you want to smooth it out, you can hold down the shift key and actually relax it. So this can be quite useful when you're, when you're putting all your subdivisions in. So that's just something to bear in mind. Bringing these together, obviously this is mirrored, you can just simply just click and hold and they should just snap together like so. OK, so let's go continue forward and I'm going to basically make the main body first. I'm just going to work my way around. So what I want to do is effectively I want to create this kind of arch. And then underneath, because I'm going to make the sleeve separate, I'm going to put a click there and a click there, shift. And then if I can get it, because sometimes it just takes a little bit of 
maneuvering. So I'll just maneuver that there. There we go. So now we've got uh, effectively um, an avenue for our sleeve. So what you can do here is you can continue working on the body. So we can, again, just join that up there. Again, you can just join those up. And we'll perhaps put another one, say, there. Put one there. And again, we can just snap those together. So again, if you want this to kind of be a bit more even, depending on what you're doing, again, you can hold down uh, the shift key and just relax it. Now, a word of warning though, because you can see what's going on there. If you kind of go a little bit too far with it, particularly at this stage, it can start to kind of like um, go a little bit all over the place. So what I'm going to do is instead of kind of like fully relaxing it, I'm just going to keep it like that for now. And I might just move that down a little bit as well. Now we will put some other subdivisions in there, which will basically curve this out. But I just want to kind of get the sleeves in for now. So I'm just going to go and begin the process of just putting some sleeves in. So again, um, probably put one in there. So we are going to join these up, so don't worry uh, too much about the positioning. So I'm gonna put that, to what, sorry, let's do that again. Let's try that again. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. There we go. And I'm trying to get it to correspond with these edges. So when it comes time to kind of join them up, um, it should be fairly simple. So I'm just going to put one there. And then we've got the underside as well. So I'm going to put another two there. So I'll just bring this down a little bit. Let's try that. There we go. And that should by rights, if I put another one in there now, that should by rights be, we'll soon find out anyway. So what I'm gonna do here is next, I'm going to just link these up. So I just literally just drag and drop to each respective corner. Okay. One there. One there. So we are missing uh, from one from here. So we can uh, hold down control and put a subdivision in there. And then we can just drag that in there like so. Okay. It's not looking too pretty at the moment, but we'll uh, we'll, um, we'll just do a little bit of maneuvering. And then, of course, once, once we start putting the subdivisions in, that's when, uh, uh, that's when it should start uh, coming to life. Okay. So this can be a bit fiddly. So just take your time. And uh, you can just position it. Now, uh, we could continue with this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to uh, put a subdivision in here. So this can be a bit tricky. I think that seems to be all right for now, uh, just to give it a little bit of shape. Okay. And then what we can do next is we can uh, maybe like do another part of the sleeve. That could be one thing to do. Or what we can do is we can attempt to perhaps just drag these ends and extend it because we can always put subdivisions, of course, across the middle there. So let's have a go at doing that. And again, this can be a little bit tricky. You can kind of end up getting a little bit mixed up and sort of going over yourself. So um, by all means, you know, just take your time with this. It might be one of those things where you just need to... Um, uh, have a few goes at it because sometimes it doesn't, you know, it doesn't go quite right. So I'm just going to drag that to there. Okay, it seems to be behaving itself on this occasion. So we've got most of the sleeve there. And of course, the beauty of this is we've got it mirrored on the other side, so we don't need to do it again. Oops.
Okay. Now, I'm going to attempt to put some subdivisions in. Let's see how this goes. Got one there. Put one there. So it seems to be okay so far. I'll put one in the middle there. So if you can put them sort of equidistant, that's probably a better way. Because sometimes if you like, if you just start kind of going down, say, from this shoulder here and working way down, sometimes it can get a bit confused and it can kind of fold in on itself. But that all seems to be okay for the time being. Okay, so I'm going to start putting some subdivisions here as well. You can see there now it's start, starting to actually give it some uh, give it some shape. Maybe around the middle there, around the middle there. Okay, looking good. Now mentioned before about rela relaxing the um, the subdivisions, so we'll have a go at doing that. I'm going to go to Shift and let's just see if we can just relax it a little bit. You can see there we've got some going on there. It's just so it's kind of like a cleaner geometry, that's all. And when it comes to things like UVing, it just makes life a lot easier. And also, of course, less distortion when it comes to using your textures. Okay. So something like that. And then we'll just have a quick look at this arm. And maybe we need to put some more subdivisions in here. But I think for the meantime, I think we'll we'll just try and keep it as simple as possible, if that's okay. Of course, you can you can increase the subdivisions. That's fine. I think um, we'll just try and keep it just try and keep it simple. All right. I'm just going to drag these bits together here. So we've got at the back. So that's looking pretty good. And of course, you can continue to kind of play around with it. But I thought before we get going, uh, we'll have a go now at uh, turning this into an end cloth. So that'll be in the next video. So take your time with this, folks. In the next video, we're going to have a look at turning this into an earth cloth. So that's it for now, folks. See you in the next video. Okay, welcome back folks. So in this video, we're going to have a look at turning this uh, into an end cloth and applying some physics. So I'm gonna come out of the quad draw now and we'll have there, we can see there we've got like um, the main kind of quads on there. I'm just gonna go forward and go into object mode. So what I'm gonna do is with that selected, I'm gonna go through to the FX there, end cloth at the top, and then go to create in cloth. Okay, like so. And then next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the uh, the jacket again, and then shift and select, uh, just taking off the, um, the light service, shift and select the character. So yeah, so just make sure that's turned off. And then go back to end cloth and create passive collider. Now, the moment we've got it set at about 200 frames that's probably going to be all right let's let's see how this plays out but basically once you've done that we're going to hit play we should start to see some movement now what i'm what i am going to do i'm just going to hit stop there for a second i'm just going to undo that let's try and get a more uh, accurate reading i'm just going to hit three to smooth and then let's try that again Shift and then select on the character and cloth. Uh, I shouldn't have to do that again, actually. I'm just go and hit play. There we go. Okay. So again, this depends on you, you know, how far you want to sort of take this. I can see there are some like anomalies going on here, which we can play around with. But if you want to kind of get into, say, uh, making uh, this. The, changing the, the values of this, what we can do is if I just hit stop and um, select the mesh and then go through to the attribute editor, you can see here we've got some settings for things like the parameters. And this is where you just have to have a little bit of a play uh, with some of these settings. So you can have a look at things like stickiness and friction. So if I just play this through now, and again, this will be your call, but um, if I go through to say, um, we could have a play around with thick, thickness. 
you can see there how that kind of changes. Changes the outfit. So that's looking pretty good. And you can play some other things like, um, for example, like the friction. Like so, you can increase that. And uh, also things like stickiness. So you can play around with that as well. So the best thing to do is just really just have a play. So you can see there, you can change the rigidity of it, but the, again, you've got to be, that's quite sensitive. So we'll just take that back to like there. Things like deform resistance, we can have a look at that as well. And again, the great thing about this is you can see it in real time. So that's barely kind of moving now. So maybe we'll just take that back a little bit. Okay. And there's things like uh, dampening as well. So we can have a look at, uh, where are we? Look at the dampening. And again, just play around with that. So it'll go through this cycle. And even things like stretch dampening as well. Let's have a look at that, see what that does. that a little bit more but anyway um certainly have a play with this and you know keep um just keep in mind you know what you're trying to achieve because you're not going to get like perhaps the the detail unless you kind of really go into it and you can give it like a silk effect and things like that but i think for the most part that's working i can see a little bit happening on the sleeve there but for the most part i'm quite happy with that so i'm going to let this play through again to say something like that stop that and then things like on the sleeve i mean you can easily fix stuff like this you can kind of go have a look on the vertex i'll just go through to uh, the okay now if you want to it's going to go back to object mode now if you want to do some other bits and bobs with this so for example if you wanted to say add a bit of say thickness to the uh, to the collar or the sleeves, you can do that. So what we can do next is we can maybe have a look at maybe thickening thickening up around say the um, collar area, maybe around the sleeves. So let's let's have a quick look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through to the face and I'm going to click and then shift and then double click. Then I'm going to hit Control and E. And then what we can do here is we can just increase the thickness a little bit. But just to give it some sort of solidity, you know, so it doesn't look so thin. I'll put that to about, say, 0 0.6, and I'll do the same on the other side now as well. So click, double click, Control E, and then we'll take that up to around about 0 0.6 again. There. It just looks a little bit more believable. Now we'll try it around the middle as well. So I quite like this. I, this was kind of unintentional, but. I quite like it because it, it looks a bit more feminine because of feminine top. So I'm going to just click on that, double click, control and uh, E. And then again, we'll just increase that to about 0 0.6. And then lastly, around the neck. So this one, actually, what I'll do is. I'll probably just do this by hand, shift and select. Just so we get a bit more control. Okay. Control and E, and then again we'll just take that thickness up. Maybe a little bit thicker actually, maybe to around about maybe about 1.5. And again, things like buttons and stuff, you could you could certainly put those on there, or you could just intimate it. You could just put um, you know, use your artwork for that. But anyway, so we've got that uh, part of it sorted. Let's have a look at creating some uh, trousers now. So I'm going to go back to the quad tool.
And let's have a look at creating some trousers. So probably something like, again, just making sure that you've got the uh, object X. So once we've got that sorted, let's have a look at creating some trousers. So I'm going to go and select the body. I'm going to go and hit the, uh, the little kind of a magnet uh, symbol there. I'm going to go through to the quad draw. And let's have a go at creating some trousers. So something like that. And then we'll do another square there. Try that again. Like so. It can be a bit tricky sometimes because even though it looks like you might be able to select it, it doesn't do it. So you just have to kind of pick the right angle for it. But anyway, so that's that sorted there. And let's do another one here. There we go. And we can always just join these two up. Like so. Right. Okay. So like we did with the arms. I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all just take care of the, um, the pelvic area and then we'll create the trousers. So let's have a look at just doing this. It's best to kind of get this right because this can be quite tricky to do. If you just try to do it all in one go, it 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 it, it may work, but it, it just gets very very uh, tricky. So I'm just going to maneuver this and and get it a bit more central so i can see there the reason it's not picking up it's not seeing the other vertex there there we go all right and then what i'm going to do here is just click on that there all right so we've got that sorted got that sorted all right so it's almost like a pair of like underpants that kind of thing and again if it helps you can put like a subdivision or two in there I don't want to put too many in though because we can start putting those in uh, afterwards all right so next is we're going to have a look at doing the like with the arms we're going to have a go at um, doing the doing the legs so i'm just going to create a polygon there and so again i'm trying to get this so it keys in with the rest of it Put one there, and we can see just one here. Let's just zoom in a little bit. I just shift that up a little bit there as well. One there, and may have to let's have a quick look at this so you can see it's quite tricky to do let's have a look at there we go it's just getting the right angle i think that's covered most of it we could if if there's not enough we can always put another subdivision in there all right let's have a look at joining these up now so i'm just going to click on that there we'll snap that up to there And then do the same with this here. Same with that. This is where it gets tricky because there's not a lot of room for maneuver here. So let's just have a look and see how well we do. I'm just going to snap that in there. And I think I might have got it actually. I think that's got it. We'll soon, we'll soon see anyway. All right. Let's have a look at uh, putting a uh, subdivision in there. So control, and let's say just click on there. I'm going to try and make these equidistant. All right. That all looks present and correct. Great stuff. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to hold down control and just try and put some more subdivisions in here. Again, I don't want to put too many in, like, like with the top. 
you can put as many as you like in there but i think for, just for starters i think it's probably a good idea just to kind of just try and keep it as basic as possible so look at that okay that is looking all right now we could keep these as um as just kind of like long shorts or um or you could turn them into trousers again um i think i think in this instance i think what we'll do is we'll, it looks quite nice as an outfit so i think what we'll do is we'll just leave these as shorts and then we'll do a little belt and uh, and that should be it so let's have a go at um First of all, creating um, creating another end cloth. So if you're happy with this, and again, if there's anything where you want to perhaps put another subdivision in, you could do that. Like there, for example, I think that could probably do with another subdivision, just to give it a little bit more shape. But I think we're pretty much uh, pretty much ready. So that's what we'll do. We'll close the video down here, folks, and in the next video, we're going to have a look at creating uh, another. Uh, and cloth and also we're going to have a go at creating a belt all right so that's it for now folks i shall see you in the next video Bye. okay folks welcome back so following on from the last video we're going to be turning this into an end cloth so i'm going to go back to the selection tool um, make sure that you um, uh, you've got uh, that still selected. I'm just going to go through now to object mode. Going to go through to end cloth and uh, create end cloth. I'm going to select that again. Again, I'm just going to hit three just to smooth it out. And then with that selected, hold down shift and select. Um, the main body. I'll just kind of click off that. Let's try that again. So select that and select the main body and then back to end cloth and create passive collider. And again, like before, we're just going to hit play and let's see what we get. Okay, so that's looking all right. And again, you can have a play around with um, some of the other functions. Uh, as mentioned, if I just stop this now with the attribute editor, so you could select that and play around with some of these parameters if you want. It's entirely up to you. Um, I think that's looking pretty good. You can just, have a, just do another little pass through and just see what that looks like. Okay, well, maybe just stop it around about there. Okay. And again, like before, if you're happy with um, what you did there with the um, with the sleeves, we can do that uh, same thing again uh, with our shorts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back through to face, click, double click, control E. And again, we can just make the thickness up to about 0.6, I think it was before. And then do the same thing with this one as well. Control E. Okay. And then let's have a look at just the top here. So click, double click, Control E. And we just have a play around with the thickness there. Maybe make it around about 0.8, say. Cool. So aside from that, let's have a look at uh, making a little belt. Now we could go one or two ways in, uh, with this. We could, if you wanted to, um, uh, do another um, uh, quad draw with this. One of the things we could do, though, is as soon as we've got the geometry there, we could shift, double click, and hit Control and E again. And let's have a look at this time round. using the local translate Z. So we've got like an extra extra part in that now, that you can see. And again, in terms of, um, if you want more definition on this, one of the things you can do is, let's just have a go 
that um, I want to go to uh, press control and Z to go back. In order to kind of get this looking a little bit more sharp, what we're going to need to do is put, need, going to need to put another subdivision or a couple of subdivisions on this. So let's have a look at that. So let's go through to uh, object mode again. Going to go through to the uh, multi-cut tool and let's have a go at seeing if we can just put in a subdivision, say, close to where uh, the other line is. I'm just going to hit um, um, the number one. This way, what we can do is can get a bit more control. So I'm just going to go and just double click on that line, W. I'm going to try and take that line um, as far as I can take it. I think that's probably about as far as it'll go, say, to around about there. So we could try to that at that. We go back to the multi-cut tool and let's have a go at putting uh, another subdivision, say, there. Right. Now. When it comes to um, uh, trying an extrusion again, hopefully we'll have a bit more definition. So I'm going to go click, double click, I'm going to hit uh, three, and control and E, and we'll try that again, shall we? Now it's a little bit more, but what we can do is, whilst we've got it in the soft selection, we can go to uh, right click and go through to edge and then we can have a look at playing around with some of this so for example if I just double click on that if I just move that down there so you can see there if I move that up it gives it more definition yeah now you've got to be oops there's a little bit of a delay there you've got to be careful though because you what you don't want to do is you don't want to go too far with this and remember, with your um, artwork that you'll be using, whether you're using Substance Painter or, or indeed um, Photoshop, uh, you can sort of accentuate things with, with that. So don't be too concerned with uh, trying to solve everything with, um, with the um, geometry. All right. And I'll just bring that down to run away there. I think that's pretty safe, actually. So something like that. So again, we've kind of got this a bit more definition now around uh, around in the body and if you want to do something like a belt buckle you can you can do that we can just create something just very quickly now um, let's have a look at um, maybe um, either with using the cube so maybe we could do that so I'll select the cube and again what I can do here is I can just expand that and just give it some shape so something like say that uh, if you wanted to you can uh, use a bevel on it Something like that, so you can increase the, uh, the fractions on there. And then for the hole in the middle, what we can do is we can copy this, so Shift and uh, D. And then what we can do is use our um, use the uh, scaling tool to basically create the shape and what we're going to do here is it's going to create a boolean so we've got something like that then all we need to do shift sorry uh, click and then shift click on the object we go through to boolean and then where it comes up with the box we what we want is difference there we go now you press so we've got a belt buckle so what we, all that's left to do now is we can just bring that around and of course, we can just sort of scale this down. And if you want to add things like uh, some other little bits and bobs, like um, you know the actual pin that, that does the belt, of course, you can have a play around with that. You could even just make the belt buckle uh, like a, a simple plane. That could be something else as well that you can do. If you wanted to, so something like that, say. And again, you could do things like you can either play around with the artwork or you could even just add some more uh, geometry in there or even break this off if you wanted to and, uh, and curve it around. But I'm not going to go into it in this uh, in this instance. Well, that's pretty much it, folks. Um, I just wanted to kind of just go through the basics. As I did a video the other day, just looking at uh, creating clothing from the, um, you know, from the actual character, I thought we'd explore the... Um, 
you know, the uh, the quad draw tool to actually create some uh, clothing there. And, you know, the results are quite impressive, you know. And, of course, you can make the footwear as well using the same method and things like watches you could do and um, anything else, anything else you can think of. But that's pretty much it, really, folks. So uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, if you've got any questions, uh, please do let me know in the comment section. All right, that's it for now, folks. So thanks for watching, and uh, I shall catch you in the next video. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye for now.